I'm sitting with my co-chairperson here, uh, Mr. Silo Lidika, who is also the provincial chairperson of Limpopo, of Action Estate. Dr. Lidika, how are you doing? I'm fine and you, Lorato. I'm doing very well. This policy conference looks like it's it's going well. There's a lot There's a lot going on. How do oh, you feel about beautiful. it? beautiful. If anybody thought we were a Mickey Mouse, this is at least indication that you are we're one of the big parties in this country. No mm. doubt about it. Absolutely. Just to pull this one off. Mm, absolutely. So you and I chaired the policy panel on foreign affairs. What are the big three takeaways in this policy that we have just um, adopted at this policy conference that you want South Africans to know? Yeah, thank you very much. I think uh, the, the preamble will be as, as Action SA, uh, being a major party in South Africa, must take into account that this country comes from a long nightmare of apartheid where human rights were violated. So I think that is very important to note that whatever informs our foreign policy should not just be the constitution, but also the, the policy that we adopt in terms of relating with the, with the world, you know. First, it's, it's, it's just the whole question of human rights, that uh, we should be seen to be friends with countries that share our values in terms of, of human rights. And secondly, we need to take our national interests into account. Surely we have relations with, with other countries, you know, for a reason, trade, investment and all that, you know. And we come from a background where the world was initially the Cold War, which was really bipolar. And I think we saw the unipolarity of the US. And the emergence of BRICS in particular is an indication of a multipolarity that one can, can talk about. And for Action SA, this is very important because as Africa or as the third world, we have always been forced to choose whether we go to the East or the West. So what we are saying in this conference that we are going either way, you know, we are going to say we are going to keep relations with, the, with, the, with all the countries that matter to us, you know, with the uh, organizations that are important to us, you know, without necessarily going each other way. It has been said again and again that we are trading with China, with the US, with the European Union. What choices do we make? We all make them our friends, if you understand what I mean. And we must just be smart enough to be able to manage this and maneuver these difficult areas. So in a nutshell, in or out of BRICS? BRICS were definitely in. By the way, let me put it this way. The word the BRICS itself includes South Africa because the S there is us. So I think the debate about BRICS is dead now. And we know there was this before the conference, but now we are united that we are staying in BRICS. Thank you very much. There you have it, South Africa. It has been much cause for debate whether or not Action SA advocates for South Africa to stay within BRICS. The answer has now been provided officially. Action SA advocates that South Africa remains in BRICS.